the wind at their backs in the first half. And from inside, the Wellington half a playing slip. Playing in his first round for his shield match of the season. Puts it high in the air, coming down on the Wellington 22. And perfect conditions here at Lancaster Park this afternoon. This ground could not be in a better state. Loose play in the opening minute of this match. And a strong wind is blowing right down the ground from right to left as we look at it. And already there's been an injury. Canterbury Reserve sitting with their coaches, Alex Wiley and Doug Bruce, in the middle of the picture. So just 35 seconds into this match, a quick patch-up job on Jock Hobbs. The wounds of war manifesting themselves early in this match. So the first scrum of the game going down on the Wellington 22 in centre field. The big, strong Wellington scrum starting on the ominous note for Canterbury. This is Craig Green just brushing away the tackles. An early try for Canterbury. Yes! Tony thought the try for Canterbury one minute into the match and a break came from Craig Green. It's four points to nil. And Wellington put the shove on, out to Deans. Deans burst through to Green, Green burst through, and Thorpe's right on hand to take a pass, flicked up by Green, bursting for the line, manages to make it right on the line. Well, that was a hairline decision for the referee to make there. Did he force the ball? Well, in the replay, he probably just got it down and no more. Very good piece of refereeing there from Mr. Francis. So Robbie Deans, the, the demigod of Lancaster Park. Five metres in from touch. What a start for the shield holders. Two minutes into the match, playing into the wind, and they're ahead by six points to nil. It's a good kick from Alan Houston. High ball swirling around in the wind. Well taken by Bruce Deans. There's the pivotal force in this Canterbury pack. The younger of the Deans, the two Deans brothers, Bruce. The Wellington. Wellington are putting a lot of pressure on the scrums, but they're going to have to put a lot more on. So here is an early scoring opportunity now for Wellington. 15 metres in from touch, midway 22 and halfway. And into the fray steps Alan Hewson. Well, he's not the most uh, popular boy here at Lancaster Park. And already there is a substantial chorus of booing and jeering. In fact, I imagine uh, Rob Muldoon would generate more popularity at an FOL conference than this man's able to elicit from a Lancaster Park crowd. But I guess he's, he's inured to it by now. board and the deficit is back to three points and we've had six minutes of play in the first half I'm sure Alec Wiley has given this team instructions not to any penalties inside his half, and here they are making just a couple of bad mistakes, and uh, three points have resulted. And there's another elementary mistake there made from the kickoff. The ball did not travel 10 metres, so the scrub to go down at halfway. Obviously, there's a lot of nerves and a lot of tension out there in both these two teams, which probably would account for some of these elementary errors. This forward pack looks very strong of Wellington's. Houston up from fullback on halfway, giving chase with Bernie Fraser. It's an awkward one for Deans. The ball has gone loose and it eluded Fraser as well. It was awkward for both Deans and Fraser. So it's now inside the Canterbury 22. The whistle had gone. Dry, rock hard nature of this ground, causing the ball to bounce extraordinarily high from those kicks.
So this is the first scrum inside the Canterbury 20. So the first scrum of the match inside the Canterbury 22. Some options here for Wellington Tony if they could win the ball, but good scrummage from Canterbury. It was good scrummage, and uh, they're going to have to scrummage well because, as we said earlier, this pack are going to test them for 80 minutes, and it will be a hard fought battle up front. Robbie Deans inside is 22. The man who's scored now 248 points in first class rugby this season. John Ashworth, something of a cloud over him today. Tony Thorpe at number two in the lineup, the man who scored the try for Canterbury. Wellington seemed to be winning their scrum ball far quicker and cleaner than, uh, than Canterbury. Wellington backs as I notice Houston looming up on the outside of Wilson. Now he's held back. Here's Wilson. He's got support with Pollock. Over the 22 goes Stu Wilson. Key man in this Wellington back line this afternoon is Stu Wilson. Ran around his opposite number, Craig Green, which I guess equals the score because it was through Wilson that Craig, Craig Green went to set up the first Canterbury try. Big leap there from Muddy Pierce, Graham Duffy, 15 metres short of the Canterbury line, and Wellington backs again, Pollock, and the double round from Wiley, little two Wiley, what a try! Wellington hit the lead after 18 minutes of play, they're ahead by seven points to six. a game of rugby here at Lancaster Park. Wellington have come back magnificently from that shattering blow in the first minute and have posted nine points in 15 minutes and now lead by nine points to six. Here comes the ball to Wiley. Flips it, cuts through to, to uh, Pollock. Through to Wiley again. Jinks back inside. Goes over just about untouched. A good try. Yes, well, with, with 20 minutes gone, Wellington up 9-6, nine, nine, going with the wind. I think they'll want points at this stage of the game. 